All right, pet owners, I need you to beware that feeding your dogs raw meat is going to expose them to antibiotic-resistant E. coli. If you are a fur parent and you're thinking about switching your dog over to raw meat, you may want to listen to this entire video to hear why that may not be a good decision. If you're new to my page, my name is Andretta. I'm a pet nutritionist and I help pet parents like yourself make good decisions for their fur babies. In a recent research, we found that owners should not be feeding their dogs raw meat. The researchers are from the University of Bristol and they have revealed a concerning leak between feeding dogs uncooked meat and an increased risk of exerting antibiotic resistant E. coli. Now, this study, which involved over 600 healthy dogs, found that E. coli and bacterium that can cause food poisoning in urinary tract and bloodstream infections becomes resistant to a widely used antibiotic called ciprofloxacin when dogs are fed raw meat. Ciprofloxacin belongs to a group of antibiotics known as fluoroquinolone, which are considered critically important by the World Health Organization for treating bacterial infections in humans and animals. The research focused on identifying ciprofloxacin-resistant E. coli in the intestines of healthy pet dogs. Now, dog owners had to complete surveys providing details about their dogs, their diets, the environment, they frequent as well as the historic antibiotic treatment. Now, statistical analysis of the survey data combined with microbiology data revealed that feeding dogs uncooked meat was the primary risk factor associated with the exertion of antibiotic resistant E. coli in the dog feces. This finding is consistent with previous studies that have suggested a link between dogs consuming raw meat and the presence of resistant E. coli. Now, their aim was not to focus on raw dog food, but to investigate what might make a dog more likely to be resistant E. coli in its feces. And their study found a very strong association between excreting ciprofloxacin resistant E. coli and feeding dogs a raw food diet. Now, let's go into cooking skills because we as the humans are going to cook and prepare the food for our dogs. Now, first off, most people are going to be like, cooking kills the bacteria and good hand hygiene reduces the immediate risk of these bacteria being swallowed and getting into a person's intestines. Now, choosing to feed a dog raw meat means a person almost certainly has to handle the raw meat. And our research is clear that raw feeding also means pet owners are likely to interact with a pet that is exerting resistant E. coli. Now, to mitigate these risks, researchers recommended several measures, including switching to non-raw diets for dogs or sourcing high-quality raw meat that can be cooked before consumption. They also suggested opting for meat from farms in countries with strict antibiotic usage policies in animal farming, as it reduces the chances of dogs ingesting resistant bacteria. Now, E. coli bacteria are naturally present in intestines of humans and animals. Transmission usually occurs through poor domestic hygiene practices, such as inadequate hand washing after using the restroom, or handling food contaminated with fecal material, including, you guessed it, uncooked meat. Now, when dogs excrete antibiotic-resistant bacteria into their environment, there is a risk of transmission to their owners as well as other individuals. Antibiotic-resistant E. coli infections are particularly challenging to treat, often resulting in hospitalization and increased mortality rates. 